Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're going to look at sketching parametric equations so we can answer questions from exercise 8c. So in this question here we're going to draw the curve with the parametric equations x equals 3 cos t plus 4 and y equals 2 sine t. So what we can do and what we'll, um, what we'll do for now until we've spotted the shortcuts is plot a graph in between 0 to 2 pi, plotting coordinates every pi by 4 radians, and then we'll sketch uh, the graph and join them all up together again. So remember, we're going to have some t values. We're going to work out the x coordinate from this equation here. We're going to work out the y equation, the y coordinates from this equation here, and then plot the x, y coordinates. t it does not appear on my graph. So, in this case here, we're going to start with plugging in t equals 0, and we get 3 plus 4 is 7, and continue doing that going all the way through. Some of your answers may come out as thirds, but I think for drawing the graphs, um, it will be easier to have them in decimal form. Then we'll sketch a graph. It doesn't look like it really goes into the negative x-coordinates at all, so that's good, and it only go briefly goes into the, um, into the negative y-coordinates. So... We're going to have the first point at 7, 0, second point at 6.12, 1.41, next point at 4, 2, next point at 1.87, 1.41, next point at 1, 0, and continue this on going until you've got an ellipse type shape. So sketch this there, and that is the diagram of your parametric equations. Uh, could we have just gone straight to the answer uh, immediately? Well, effectively, what we could say is that the numbers that are being added on to the end are the centre of the ellipse. So if you add on 4 on the x-coordinates, expect to have your x-coordinate centre at 4. And if you haven't added anything onto the y-equation, don't expect the centre to move up or down by anything as well as the radius. The radius is effectively going to have a different x radius to the y radius. The x radius is 3, because there's a number 3 multiplying the cos in the x equation. For the y radius, the radius here is 2, because there is a 2 multiplying the sine graph um, on, on the y equation here. So effectively, what you could say then to summarise is that if x equals a cos t plus b and y equals c sine t plus d, this is going to be an ellipse with centre b, d, the numbers that add on at the end, and x radius a, an x radius of a. Now hopefully you understand what I mean by x radius of a. It's the radius on the x axis. In this case here it was 3, so you would go 3 to the left and 3 to the right from your centre. And the y radius here is going to be the c value. The constant term that is multiplying the sine curve on the second equation. So in this case here, you go up and down by 2, maybe plot four coordinates out first, and then just make sure they form an ellipse when they're of this variety here. Okay, so that's all we're doing in this video here. So uh, feel free to have a go at this question on your own. You don't need to plot the coordinates out. In fact, I think we'll get rid of this um, restriction here. Um, just sketch the whole curve, the whole ellipse. Okay, pause the video and try this one out. Right then, so let's do a big diagram because there's not much to do in this question algebraically. So we're going to have a centre on this ellipse at um, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1. That's the centre of our ellipse. And the x radius is going to be 2. So we're going to have another point out here and another point out here. I think I may have drawn this graph a little bit too big on the scale. Anyway, 
Uh, the y radius is going to be 5. So in this case here, it's going to be up here and down here. So it's going to now be connected all the way around here to here. Excellent, there we are. Okay, so that is our ellipse. We have four points. We worked them out earlier. They were 1, 1. This one was minus 3, 1. This one was 5 down, so it's going to be at minus 1, minus 4. And this was 5 up. So it's going to be at um, minus 1, 6. And there we are. That's the equation of the ellipse. Now notice here something quite interesting in that the x equation had a cos on it and the y equation had a sine on it. And in this case here, the x equation had a sine on it and the y equation had a cos on it. So the other way around. Now that's not really going to affect how the graph uh, looks. All it's going to do is it's going to affect the starting point. We would usually start down here, but if x is equal to sine 0, then we're not going to move anywhere to start with, so we're going to move up to here. So this here is effectively now the starting point of our graph as we start at t equals 0. And then as we move around the circle, this goes to t equals pi by 2. This will move around from here to here, so this will now equal t equals pi move around from here to here, so this is going to be t equals 3 pi by 2, and this moving around from here to here will get us back to 2 pi. So whether your sine and cos are the wrong way around doesn't actually matter. Um, all that that will take into effect in the diagram with is that it will start sketching at a different point. Um, but in general, it's a good idea to put your x with the cos function. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Have a go at plenty of the exercise uh, questions from 8C. Uh, persevere through the difficult ones. Make sure you pick out those problem solving and exam style questions to really test yourself to see whether you understand the material. Thanks very much for watching.